Hey everybody, Sean from Media Assault here, and today I wanted to start a Halloween series for the channel. And what I want to do is I want to review four horror movies this month, and three of them are going to be films that I've never seen before or prior to reviewing them for the channel, and then one is going to be a movie that I would recommend as a really kick-ass, scary Halloween film that you know you could show at a Halloween party and scare all your friends and stuff. Um, start today with the first of the three movies that I've never seen prior to today and it's a movie called Low and that's L-O and this is a 2009 movie that uh, was written and directed by a guy named Travis Betts it's a very small very independent film um, and it's sort of a, a good thing and a bad thing all at once and I'll get into that in the review in just a second but the plot of the film is there's a guy named Justin and he's your typical movie nerd guy you get the feeling he works in a cubicle all day he hates his job um, hasn't got any friends he doesn't have a real life uh, the highlight of his day is going to the local diner and eating the same thing for lunch um, and then into his life walks this beautiful woman named April and April is sort of like a breath of fresh air. She's crazy, she's bizarre, she's just everything that this guy isn't, and she somehow is attracted to him for being who he is. Um, it's one of those matches that, you know, the opposites attract type of thing. Well, something terrible happens to April. She's dragged to hell by demons. Justin has a book, a spell book, and he decides that he's going to summon a demon named Lo to help him get April back from hell. And that's pretty much all I'll say about the plot. Um, but what's good about this film is the fact that the performances by the demons and the creatures that Justin runs into are hilarious. And that may sound kind of strange for a horror movie, but this is sort of a hor horror comedy, I, I guess you could call it. Uh, it's a very dark comedy. Uh, you have to have an extremely weird sense of humor to understand this film and get the jokes. Um, and I do, so I did. So I liked it. Um, Lowe is played by Jeremiah Burkett, who I looked at his credits on imdb.com, and he hasn't done a lot of theatrical work. He's done a lot of TV stuff. Uh, the most notable credit that I could find for him is that he played Dean Tackleberry in the Police Academy series, of which I didn't know there was one, um, but Police Academy TV series back in the early 90s. He redeems himself for that at, in his performance as the demon Low. He's hilarious. He's got There are a lot of great one-liners in this movie, but he has the best of the lot. Um, Ward Roberts plays the character of Justin. He is suitably nerdy and sort of wishy-washy, and, and he fits his character very well. I didn't like the character of Justin very much, but Ward Roberts does a good job handling the performance. One of the bad things about Lowe, the film, is the fact that even though it is a very small, independent production, uh, that kind of works against it in the way that it looks. Um, there are a number of scenes in this film that are supposed to look like a theatrical production on a stage, um, a very poorly done sort of high school type stage, uh, but unfortunately the scenes that aren't supposed to be that way kind of look that way. It has a very amateurish look to it. Um, it's part of its charm, but it also kind of works against the film. One of the things that really works in this film's favor is the fact that it's not afraid to try something new. Uh, the storyline and the way that this film kind of unveils itself as from beginning to end is really inventive and really, really interesting. Um, the problem, though, is that it really has trouble hiding its influences. Uh, there were many times watching this movie that I recalled uh, Bruce Campbell in Evil Dead 2. Uh, I won't say specifically what, but it's very reminiscent of that film. But I can't knock it too much because it does try to do something new and inventive with the genre. 
And for the most part, even though it is sort of uh, cringingly bad at times, um, overall the attempts at humor and the attempts at being inventive work. And I got to give the film credit for trying something different. So if you're expecting your standard run-of-the-mill horror movie, you're going to be disappointed with Low. If you're expecting even something like Evil Dead 2, you're going to be disappointed with Low. The best way to watch this film really is without any expectations. And I realize that if you're watching this movie or this review, um, I've already ruined that for you because I've told you what it's about. I went into this not knowing anything about it, and I came out on the other side really respecting the film uh, or actually respecting writer-director Travis Betts for trying something different. Um, and really that's that's the best thing about this movie is that it tries something different and for the most part it, it succeeds. So the reason I picked it as a Halloween, part of my Halloween series is the fact that it does try something new and well and I hadn't seen it before so I didn't know what to expect. I picked it before I had seen it. Um, but overall, I would have to say I'd give it a positive review. I, I think I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Um, that's not to say that it's a great movie. Obviously, a 6 out of 10 is not a great rating. Um, but I have to respect it for doing something different, really taking the genre in a different direction. Um, it's not a scary film, unless you're easily creeped out by the idea of demons and you know supernatural type stuff. Um, so it really does, it really low on the scare factor, but it is funny. Like I said, there are a lot of one-liners in this movie that are hilarious. Um, the performance by Jeremiah Burkett as low is really noteworthy, and I gotta give him props for his skill for pulling that off. And the makeup effects on the demon characters are really good. Um, I don't know the guy's name that did the special effects. I will put it below. Um, but whoever did it did a great job, especially on the character Low. Excellent work there. Uh, like I said, Ward Roberts is admirably nerdy in his role. Pulls it off well, if not spectacularly. Um, and Sarah Laze, I wish I knew how to pronounce her name, or um, however you pronounce her name, the woman that plays April. She's not in the movie a lot, but she does give off a suitable, suitable amount of... Um, quirkiness, I guess, in the role. Um, and that's all I'll say about that. But definitely the highlight of this movie is the character Lowe and the performance by Jeremiah Burkett as Lowe. And uh, that's all I can really say about this movie without giving too much away. I don't want to ruin it for you. So if you're willing to take a chance on something different for Halloween in the horror genre, check out Lowe. And I'm going to put the poster art right here so you know what to look for on the DVD shelf or if you're scanning on Netflix so magically it'll appear right here. Isn't that beautiful? Alright, so check out Low and if you do have Netflix streaming it is available on the, the uh, Netflix streaming uh, channel I guess you'd call it. Uh, it is available for sale on Amazon and I believe Best Buy.com. I uh, wouldn't necessarily recommend buying it but definitely rent it uh, check it out, see what you like, or see what you think of it, and uh, that's all I can say. Uh, next up, I will be doing another movie that I have not seen for Halloween, so check out that review. I am waiting for the next disc to arrive for my Essential Movie series, so uh, while I'm waiting for that, I'll probably do another uh, couple of videos for you. So stay tuned to the Media Assault channel. And again, as always, if you like what you see, please subscribe, comment, and rate the video. That's the thumbs up thing right down there. Subscribe right up there. And uh, thanks again for watching. Take it easy.